yesterday we got our frames in for the privacy walls and today we're gonna start excavating the front for our wall. We're gonna start doing some things to prep for that because we have our wall block coming on Monday. So stay tuned for this, it's about to get good. See, now we have our wall base area dug out and excavated to the right depth. And what we're gonna do next, we have some clay soils here. So we're gonna amend the soil with some type S mortar mix. We'll spread that all over. We'll rake it into the soil. We'll do a final grade on this and then we'll compact our subgrade. And then we can start with our geogrid, our clean stone, all that kind of stuff. But that's the first step. Boys. Type S, baby. I don't know. I thought I was getting better. I got more sick yesterday and today. Holy shit. We got our type S mortar mix going in. This is Portland cement and lime. And that's the activators that are going to create some sort of chemical reaction, change the molecules in the clay soil, make them better draining and a more stable base for our wall that'll last one million years. That's gonna run the compactor. We have our type S mortar in the trench, amending the soil as we speak, and we will compact this into the subgrade, and then we can start on some geogrid and some three-quarter clean. We now have our hole trench excavated nicely, soil is amended, it is compacted, and now we have some geogrid in here. It's gonna help strengthen our three-quarter clean stone, help it from eliminating any shifting within the stone. What happens is the stone locks into these little holes in here, and it eliminates its ability to move and shift. So we'll probably do two layers of this in here. There's gonna be geogrid like everywhere. I'm really on this geogrid kick lately. The more geogrid, the better. It's cheap insurance. Put geogrid everywhere with the three-quarter clean stone base. I love it, man. I'm big on the geogrid. I'm like a geo dude. We are doing about 10 inches of base here. So even though you don't have to with three quarter clean stone, we are gonna do it in two lifts and we're gonna compact it in between. So we're doing about uh, five inches now and then we'll do another five inches after we compact it and get it to our final height. So we're gonna have a nice thick wide base for this wall and it'll never go anywhere. Geo grid, big, big. working on our second lift and uh, we're checking with the zip level to make sure we're at the right height just raking it out getting it nice and level what the hell that's it for today we got our base all ready to go we'll compact it one more time on top on Monday but we got our delivery of Tecobach Roka wall Brandon wall coming on Monday morning from Timothy's it's gonna be epic so stay tuned for that but in the meantime if you want to win a free t-shirt, Premier Outdoor Living, brand new t-shirt, all you got to do is comment below, guess a number between 1 and 67, along with one sentence about what you like about this video, and you could win. Closest to that number gets a t-shirt. You can go over, too. You don't have to get... It's not like the price is right. You can go over. Just closest to that number. I got it picked out here. Pat knows what it is, so I can't cheat. So, <laughs> all right, comment below what you like about this video, plus a guess about the number between one and 67. As many comments as you want, as many entries as you want is allowed. Anyway, this is Premier Outdoor Living.